I'm making a chicken salad sandwich with my bacon jam. Oh yeah, I'm taking chicken salad to another level. So I picked up a roaster from the supermarket, super cheap, so easy to do. Instead of you having to go through the fuss of baking a, a, a small chicken yourself, you can just pick it up from your grocer. And all I'm doing is taking off the skin and just hand picking it. There's no special technique in doing this. Just pick it till you pick it dry. So I'm pulling the chicken a little bit more with my hand. You can keep this simple and just hand shred it. Or if you want it a little smaller, you can chop it up. Got a celery stock. I'm gonna use a few sticks. I'm just gonna give this a rough chop. One red bell pepper. I want it to have a little sweeter flavor. And red pepper is just prettier. <laughs> Gives it that pop of color. Got a little bit of garlic powder. This is to taste. If you feel like you need to add a little bit more, by all means, add more. But this is definitely just from the heart. <laughs> Teaspoon of paprika. I eyeball my mayo, so it's about a cup total. To take it up a notch, I add a Dijon mustard because it just gives it that, that tangy bite. Salt, a little bit of cracked black pepper. The chicken salad itself is just so beautiful, and it, you just want a bread that's gonna complement the texture of the chicken salad and the taste of it. Croissant does that. It's buttery, it's flaky, it's just right. I'm gonna slice off my bread first and then add in the chicken salad. Got yourself a cute little chicken salad sandwich. I'm gonna add homemade bacon jam to these chicken salad sandwiches. So I'm gonna assemble the sandwiches now and I'm gonna let my girls put the bacon jam on it themselves when we get to the park. Alrighty, so I'm finishing up wrapping these. I'm gonna pop them in the fridge. I cooked about a pound of bacon and I'm not discarding all of my bacon fat. I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of the bacon fat in the jam. I've already started chopping some shallot and I'm using three, giving it a rough chop. I'm gonna chop up some garlic. I love garlic and everything. Add it to the pot. I'm gonna grab my cooked bacon. Crumble that right in there. And if you want finer pieces, just throw it in the food processor. Got some good old local molasses. Half a cup or so. I'm using some honey and getting variations of sweetness here. Brown sugar. Combine those sugars with that saltiness and smokiness from the bacon. Nothing like it, life changing. A Little bit of sherry, so I want that punch of wine flavor. Apple cider vinegar, it balances out all of the flavors that I'm using. Ground mustard, got my garlic powder in there. A little salt, a little pepper, give it a little stir. That looks great. I'm gonna take it back to the stove, get this thing heated up. Right, so I've brought it to a boil. I'm gonna reduce the heat now and let it simmer until it gets nice and thick. 